Welcome to the Experiment Escape Room. Very obviously made by the same people who made the last Escape Room game I played, except hopefully a lot scary. Can you shut up? Hopefully a lot scarier. While visiting a well-renowned doctor, you notice something is amiss at his office. Before you realize what's going on, he drugs you and you fall asleep. When you wake up, you're sitting on a chair in the back room, locked and unable to get out of the building. You can tell that the doctor is running some kind of experiment on animals and people who are his next subject. Can you figure out what's going on and escape before it's too late? Probably not. Damn, this is one hell of an escape room. I mean, I just don't know what to do at all. Alright, it seems like, wow, 70 minutes? Is that how long they expect me to take? All right, well, I know from the last game um, a bit how this works. So I do have a hand of the controls, and I should be a bit better at it. First thing first, let's open all the cabinets. M-O-A-M. Um, oh, what are those elements? Mauricium, maybe, and I don't M-O. I have no idea. Okay, we got some equations on the board. They're physics equations, which is really interesting because he's doing biological experiments, but let's just put math up on the board. Okay, let's not psychoanalyze the game. Fusion thing there. Oh, there we go. A, okay. That's what I'm looking for. Blood files with an actual label on them. None of these seem to have a label, I don't think. You can just examine anything, huh? There's a key. He can this key unlock? This key's gotta unlock something. There's a switch here. I think it's behind glass. So I need like a screwdriver or something. Molybdenum. Okay. Atomic number 42. And I think americium. Yeah, americium. Uh, atomic number 995. So 4295. For this one, uh, sorry that I didn't know the periodic table off the top of my head, but it should be four, two, nine, five. Yep. Sick. We got a screwdriver. I don't know what that's for. Okay, so we can now see the X. Oh, the numbers up there. Eight, five, nine, four, which would be this, right? Eight, five, nine, four. Eight, five, nine, four. No. It's gotta be the code to something. One Skull University. Maybe this is for that, because it's one skull. But eight, five, nine, four has to be the code to something. What's it the code to? Okay, these have to be important. They match what's on here. Does the other medical equipment have numbers on it? I don't see any number. Definitely no number on this one. You know, because this has a beaker on it, I bet this has to do with these beakers. Is there a number on these? Of course there's not. These are opposite. There, There's different ones on the bottom. Oh, hey, there's something on the back. Maybe there's something on the back of it? No. Oh my God. It just, it like occurred to me. I was like, wait a minute. What if that key just worked on the door and it fucking did? I didn't think there was a shot that it would because I figured this was just the door to get out, but it's not. And I need like a flashlight or something. Oh my God. Wow. Uh, okay, cool. Light switch. That's helpful. Does that make that sound when you drop it? It's so weird. What the hell? Why? <laughs> of everything I picked up, I didn't pick up this goddamn rag. Five, six, four, nine. Another blood vial and a key. Key to here. Yep, switch for sure. Oh, there we go, that switch goes there. Well, we got this at least, so that's something. It's weird, I figured now that I had all the switches, we'd be good. Okay, pause it there. What's about to happen is I am going to check many, many different things to find the code to turn the power on. However, it's actually right here. Now you may be asking, 
Why would it be on the blood? What possible hint could there have been to say that, oh, the code is on the blood? There isn't one. In fact, what tells you the direction of the switches is these little tiny squares on the blood pack. Safe to say, I was very, very annoyed when I used a hint to figure this out. Okay, I used a hint because what? Second row back gives you the pattern up two times, up, down, two ups, down, up, down, down, up. Down, up, up, down. Well, shit. Power's on. It's about time. Okay, this is a code of some sort, clearly. Pinning is on the wall, it gives you the code. I was looking at the pinning on the wall. 7413. Oh, 7413. That's. No, I think that's so stupid. I just. Oh my god. I'm about to die, so that's fun. What the f- <laughs> Wow. Okay. Oh. Well, shit. Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh, there's tags on these guys. Not that I can read it, because it's too goddamn dark. Like, I can't see what's on that tag. One, nine, four, two, two, three. I can't see this number. It's too freaking dark. Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I, am I dead? Hello? Guess I'm fine. Eight, nine, two, three. Um, okay. Oh, I hit zero. Do I just keep going? That's what happened in the last game. You went over time and you literally just... Yep, it just counts up. There's no actual death. Wow, that's unfortunate. Was hoping they'd upgrade. Now it's just quiet. <laughs> just so annoying. Right feet give you the order. And left feet give you the digits. Okay. 9362. To what the... Dumb. Okay, and I get the final one of these, which opens this, which tells me that I don't know because I can't see because there's no goddamn light in here. Julius Caesar invented a way to encrypt a message. To encrypt a message, one needed to replace each letter, the one that is three positions after it in the alphabet. So A would go to D. This is perhaps the most convoluted escape room game I've ever seen. <laughs> the puzzles are just bad. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's me. Maybe like I'm, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm the crazy one. Can't even open this. Oh, hey, oh wait, there was another one in here. What is the, what is this? It's like a whiteboard. This is telling me, look at the whiteboard. And I can put, can I put this under the microscope? Oh, I can. One, nine, eight, one. Okay. <laughs> cool. Kept. Except we're going to move all the letters over three. W. Key. Key. What's the key for? <laughs> I've lost so much enthusiasm because of this game. There was another door somewhere, wasn't there? Is it the one to my right? It is. Okay, I need to put something in there. It's the same with all these. Bananas. I need bananas. <laughs> okay. Time to go banana hunting, apparently. Many, many convoluted puzzles later. Oh my god, it worked.
<laughs> One, three, five, zero. Let's go. <laughs> Smoked game. Oh, the other blood vials. Nice. Eight, three, nine, zero. Ninety-eight. Eight nine nine eight. Gives me the other syringe and the periodic table. Wait, it's now just giving me the periodic table. By the way, I looked for a hint. This is the one that they gave me. This is the hint that they gave me. One that I did forever ago. Like actually forever ago. An hour and 50 minutes ago. Bro, that you just gave me that hint. I know. And guess what? The code doesn't go to anything. Is it because the skull's upside down? Is it actually 4958? Huh? It is. I uh, fucking I hate this game. On put it on the scale. 1082. The last syringe. Four on it, yeah? Four. Oh, because it's how, oh, you know what? That's actually kind of clever. It's how full the syringe is. Okay, I'm not actually upset about that. I should've gotten this one. Six, one, five, my bad. I just got bit. This is not the end. <laughs> is this not the end? Oh my. God, let me out. Help someone. Shut up. It's Friday the 13th. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God. Human brain four, human brain one, human brain two. All right. Are these all on the danger ones? Hold on. How's a mouse on there? One, seven, nine, three. Yay. Oh, the final shark. Important. Shark is the most important animal in the world. Wait. 7290. And again, it's just like, what's the order here? What is the order? Oh, wait, is it the letter that's... Uh, so the fourth code is an N. Second is a U. First one's an R. I don't know where the last brain book is. Well, there's only 26 possible combinations. It's... Well, that was creepy, but I got it. <laughs> it's an I. I don't know why it was an I, but it was an I. <gasps> it's not an octopus. It's the order of the sharks. <laughs> Tiger shark, hammer shark, uh, bull shark. Oh my god. Two tiger was. Oh my god. Right. Oh my god. Okay, that made sense. Key. No, I hate you. I hate you so much. This was awful. This was so fucking bad. Like, actually, so fucking bad. We can blame me and say I'm just stupid. If you want to do that, then fine. But, oh my god. Oh, some of these just were... They didn't make sense. Some of them did. Some of them were good puzzles. So, credit to those. Other ones were just dumb. The game also wasn't scary at all. There was no consequence for not finishing uh, in time and no jump scares or anything like that, which you don't necessarily need jump scares for it to be scary, but there's got to be something better. If you want to see more escape room games, definitely let me know down in the comments. I don't hate them. They're fine. I just need to find better ones. Anyway, if you did enjoy, make sure to check out more from me. There'll be a couple videos that pop up when I'm finished talking. Uh, anyway, see you guys in the next one. Peace.